Does anyone have any questions for the Red Arrows? The top speed today was uh, around about, about 400 miles an hour. Um, the aircraft that we fly is capable of going quite a bit faster than 400 miles an hour, but it's a, it's a fine balance between how easy it is to fly when it gets faster and the duration that the aircraft is in front of you if we go a bit faster. So um, around about three to 400 miles an hour is, is the target that we like taking the top. The maximum uh, G today, so it was uh, probably about seven, seven to eight G. Um, which for those of you that, that know about G-Force, you'll understand. For those of you that don't, um, G-Force is, is quite a, a strange sens sensation, uh, akin to when you're in a roller coaster perhaps, but seven or eight sustained G is almost the equivalent of you sitting on your own head. It's, it's that kind of weight that you've got, you've got to uh, hold on to, so fairly tough. Trained for normally about six months, so winter training ordinarily will start in October time uh, and Red Arrows normally stay with the team three, maybe four years uh, and then we all move on. But every year people normally change their position on the team as well. Uh, the question is how far can our Hawk jets fly? Uh, and the answer is about 600 nautical miles. So it's about an hour and a half to an hour 40 uh, before we need to stop and refuel. So, um, in order to get out to China, we stopped around 22, 23 times. Um, how do you become a Red Arrow? Well, there's a few prerequisites before you uh, start to apply to uh, join the team. Uh, first of all, you need to be a fast jet pilot in the, in the Royal Air Force. Uh, you also need to have a total of 1,500, at least 1,500 flying hours before you join or apply to join the team. Uh, and also be assessed as above average as well. Uh, I'm about 40-ish. <laughs> I celebrated my birthday in um, the South End display this year, so I was fortunate enough, um, with the help of a better tenant commentator, to have 100,000 people wishing me happy birthday on the, on the radio, which was quite good. Um, and the youngest member of the team is... is 18. So, uh, yes, but pilot-wise, I think I'm about to say, about seven, Tom is the youngest in his, um, in his mid thirties. <laughs> um, we'll fly, we'll try and fly no fewer than 180 hours in a year, just to ensure we maintain currency um, in both the display role and also some sort of uh, basic um, currency um, maneuvers that we have to have to do on a regular basis. Normal maneuvers are inherently dangerous, uh, we just try and make them look a little bit dangerous. Uh, so the synchro stuff, myself and, and Steve, we, we try and make it look like we're hitting all the time. Um, but it'd be foolish to go straight off and actually practice that. Uh, the six month workup makes it look like um, we have to get reasonably close. Uh, so we always staff higher up, much further away, and then as we get comfortable with everything, we'll move it. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go lower to the ground and we'll get closer until we're comfortable. Um, but everything is done in a very staged and very building block approach. Um, so what you see out there is, is six months worth to make it look reasonably dangerous, but it's not. Um, yeah, every year we, we have a different display and it's all down to the boss. Um, so, so Red One will uh, choreograph the display every year. Um, so he will decide what he wants to do. So he will tailor it to who's in the team, how long we've got to go. Um, and, and all the factors, but yeah, every year it's um, it's all it's all map, it's all red one that will choreograph it, and uh, the show will change change every year. Yeah, oh, I think uh, the biggest competition is ourselves. Uh, we always strive to be as good as we can be. Uh, there are plenty of other uh, display teams out there. We all like watching them, and we all like seeing how they perform. Um, but yeah, the biggest competition is is within ourselves. Uh, we always want to be as good as we can be.